quantum mechanics is that construct that describes the world that we don't see, but the world that makes up everything around us. This is the world of the small. And in order to describe that, you have to use quantum mechanics. The classical world at the end of the 19th century was very well described. However, along about that time, we began to be able to see smaller things. We saw radioactivity. We saw the electron. We knew that there was something more to the world than all of these big things that we're looking at. So as long as you're big, classical physics is fine. But once you got that small, classical physics just didn't do the trick. Quantum mechanics was developed over the course of the 20th century. A lot of famous physicists along the way contributed to the development. A physicist by the name of Eugene Wigner wrote an article once something to the effect of the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics in the natural sciences. Our whole world, all around you, is the way it is because we understand quantum mechanics. We can put a James Webb telescope a million miles from the Earth and know exactly how to get it there. You can predict a solar eclipse to the fraction of a second. Once you have the construct that you now can describe mathematically, that you can start to use to your advantage. And it's that understanding that enabled the development of devices, integrated circuit, your camera, your iPhone, your TV, you may not see them as quantum as you use them every day, but it's that understanding of how these things are going to behave because I understand the quantum mechanics.